Hello everyone and thank you for watching another video on qualitative and quantitative analysis of pharmaceutical excipients. Uh, as I said um, uh, many times in my previous uh, slideshows, these uh, videos are uh, meant to help people who are doing reverse engineering of pharmaceutical or even cosmetic products. People who like to understand uh, what these products that they are reverse engineering are made up and uh, how much and what grade of excipient uh, the, the inventor used in that product. In this slideshow, I'm going to talk about PEG 200. PEG 200 is a compendial excipient. Uh, it has a description uh, rather than a monograph. It's uh, in the USP NF uh, publication. Uh, the USP describes uh, PEG 200 as polyethylene glycol with the average molecular weight of 200. Uh, it is, as the name says, is a uh, is a polymer, is a polyethylene uh, glycol polymer. And in the case of PEG 200, these uh, number of monomers, the average number of monomers is four. So it is a heterogeneous mixture. Uh, it could be a mixture of uh, polyethylene glycol with one monomer, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. But the average molecular weighs 200 and it consists of average of four monomers. Uh, USP describes a uh, reflective index for this uh, uh, excipient density and viscosity. Uh, beside polyethylene uh, PEG 200, there are other grades of PEG. We got PEG 300, 4, 6, 1000, 4000, 10000, 3500. And in this uh, uh, slide, we see the they have different densities. And uh, some of them are liquid at room temperature. And as we go up to PEG uh, 1000, they become solid at room temperature. And they are all extensively used in pharmaceutical and in the cosmetic uh, products. The uh, FDA IAD database mentioned PEG 200 uh, three times for topical, oral, and otic products. And in the case of topical, uh, there is a, uh, ointment formulation with the maximum allowable limit of 39% weight per weight. Uh, in the case of oral, there are three different type of dosage, solution, capsule, and tablets with the 200 milligram per solution there is no uh, limit for the capsule or tablet and uh, an optic solution which is a drop you can have uh, up to 9.98 percent weight per weight for the qualitative and quantitative analysis I'm going to talk about HPLC with RI and HPLC with ELSC detector Uh, this is the uh, chromatogram of PEG 200 USP that it is generated using HPLC with RI detector. And uh, the PEG 200 is a peak uh, around uh, 35 minutes. And uh, we see that this uh, chromatogram is consists of multiple peaks. So the, the largest peak uh, we can assign that one to uh, PEG with the molecular weight of 200 and the peak to the right would be PEG with the 5 monomer and the peak to the left would be assigned could be assigned to the uh, PEG with 3 monomer uh, did I, I have not done LCMS to verify this uh, assignment but it is the most likely the assignment is correct. Uh, to generate this chromatogram, uh, these it is done by size exclusion chromatography, and the water is used as mobile phase and as um, sample solvent. So with this condition, we can easily do the quantitation of um, PEG 200, and also can we can get information about the the I don't want to say grade because the grade is USP, but at least we can distinguish between different raw materials. Uh, 
by by ha being by having this profile of PIC 200. Now the next slide is the another PIC 200 USB, which we can see that it has a which is different profile, completely different profile. It it is consists only single PIC. So although the PIC 200s, maybe all these raw material from different supplier are all uh, USB grade, but definitely they have differences depending on who makes them or who, uh, who manufactures them. You may end up having PEG with a different ratio of these monomers. So this is just an overlay. This is an overlay of the two PEG 200 that shows that they are significantly different. Now, if this is going to have any impact on your uh, finished product, probably not, or probably does. But at least with this chromat uh, chromatography, you can obtain information about the for sure you can get information about the amount and also you can see the differences between these PEG 200s in your product with your raw material that you have in house versus the raw material that you use in the product that you're doing reverse engineering. Uh, this is a this is another chromatogram of different product using HPLC ELST and the peak 200 shows uh, as a uh, the large peak at three minutes and this particular uh, product uh, contains a lot of uh, excipients and uh, that they all loot after four minutes so we see that none of them are interfering with the peak of interest which is peak 200 uh the condition that uh, the th that this chromatogram is generated is uh, using a column it's a c18 column uh, it's a gradient program and uh, mobile phase a is water uh, acid nitro with tfa and mobile phase b is ethanol and um, with this particular chromatogram mm, all i can see is just a large peak 200 peak and you can do the amount determination but doesn't give you much information about the grade uh, the references for this presentation I will uh, mention USB NF and EP and you may do the search and uh, you will find a lot of other references mostly by column manufacturer uh, on the topic of peak 200 Thank you very much for watching this video and have a great time.